So today we're going to go through how to create a time plan for the Unit 6 microcontrollers exam using Excel. And as we know, the Unit 6 exam has six activities. So first of all, I'd add in the six activities as shown. And note that I'm leaving a space between, or leaving a row of space between each of the activities. And what we're going to use this space for is we're going to um, use this so that the first row will be used to show the planned time taken and the second row will show the actual time taken. The next step is we need to kind of mark out the time plan and the exam is going to be done over 12 hours which is quite a long period of time so it's probably going to be split, uh, your exam is probably going to be split into a number of different activity sessions and I'm going to use an example here where we have eight sessions, each last an hour and a half. But of course, you could have each session last an hour. You could have each session last two hours or three hours. You could have different lengths of sessions. But when you're doing your exam, you should probably mention what your structure is. But like I say, for this example, we're going to do eight hour and a half sessions split up. So what I'll do first is I'll mark out the hour, uh, mark out the sessions, and I know that each session is going to be about an hour and a half. So it makes sense to split that each session into three. So session one, session two, session three, session four, session five, session six, session seven, and session eight. So each of these is about an hour and a half. And I like splitting the time into half hours because that lets us uh, split it into how the activities are meant to be put out because some activities take an hour and a half, some activities take two hours and a half, uh, and, and so on and so on. But they're all split into kind of half hour sessions. So what I'll do is I'll mark out the time in hours. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Now, depending on how used to Excel you are, you might know about the merge function. So this merge and center up here, merge has always been part of Excel. You can uh, usually, right click and choose merge from a ch channel in there. But if you just click this merge and center up here, highlight the cells, click merge and center, and it's gonna merge all three cells into one. So you get a nice block of cells. And you can do that with two cells here. So highlight two cells, click merge and center for each of these. And we'll do that right the way along both of these rows. You can see it takes absolutely no time at all. Um, in your exam, your advisor take an hour and a half on this, as well as the um, the diary entries. And the Gantt chart itself, I would say it would take about half an hour, if that, maybe even just 20 minutes. But now, when we look at this, we have a nice set of, nice table where you can see we have the session number, and we might even want to put a little title in there for session number, and a little, nice little title down here for time in hours, remembering those units. And if I double click at this point between column A and column B, it'll automatically uh, resize that column. Talking about resizing columns, each of these seems quite wide, and it makes it go off the page. So if I click here on column B, and then I scroll along right to the end, and I'm gonna hold shift on my uh, keyboard when I'm doing this. So I hold shift and then I click again, it selects all of the columns. And all I need to do is resize one of these columns, and square, about a square is, is, is probably good here, but you can see it makes everything come into this nice table that we have here. So nice size table, and we can be able to copy and paste that in the exam booklet quite nicely. So if I select everything here, I'll then be able to go to this point here, and I'm just gonna put borders across the whole thing. So now that the borders are in, you can see across the top, we have the merged cells, and they have borders around them, and the time and hours, they have the borders around them, and where we've merged, we don't have the borders going through the middle of the 
uh, so the, the cells. Look maybe a little bit small, so I'll increase the font for the cells and I will just make sure that my cells are appropriately width uh, by double clicking when you get this little symbol here. So if I double click there, it'll change the cells to an appropriate width. Now I'm going to show you how we re uh, how we can symbolize the amount of time taken each session. So for the planned time taken, I'd suggest that you follow the advice in the exam booklet. So we can pick a color that we're going to go through and show the plan time in. We'll go for a nice blue here. So the first activity should take about an hour and a half. So you can see here all of one hour and then uh, half of the next hour. Activity two should take an hour and a half. Activity three should take two and a half hours. So that's going to be five sections. Activity four should also take two and a half hours. Activity five should take an hour and a half. And activity six should take the rest of your time. So that's taken straight from the exam booklet. And for activity one, let's say that you get finished it really quickly in the first instance. I want to choose this nice yellow here. So we're going to take half an hour to complete activity one. Now, of course, some of that's going to be to do with the diary entries, the log entries. But for the Gantt chart and the, the original planning, you can see it happens nice and quick. So we can just take half an hour on there. Activity two. So you come to the end of uh, the session one, you might want to put in time you've spent on activity two as well. So you spend another hour on activity two. You might not have finished that, but end of session one, you're going to take that much time. You then might spend a little bit of time in the next session. And you'll, so in session two, you're going to spend another, maybe not even the whole half hour there, but you can spend time doing that. So you color that yellow. And then to show that that's, that time's also spent on activity three, you could co uh, color this column in and maybe these as well. So this shows that across the first two sessions, you spent half an hour on activity one, you spent an hour and a bit on activity two, and then you got back into the swing of things and kind of started following your time plan again with activity three. So that's taking the rest of this first half hour section and then another uh, full hour. And you go through and you fill in the rest of the sections showing how much time you actually spent on each of these. And it, show, and it lets you uh, provide a bit of evidence to show how much time you spent on these sections and how you spent the time through the exam. And this helps back up what you do in your log. Hope you enjoyed that. Let us know what kinds of things you'd be interested in seeing. Uh, know that these are, are looking to be quite popular. So interested to see what you want in either Unit 6 or any other types of uh, engineering maths or topics that you can think of. Give us a like and a subscribe so you can keep up to date. And I hope to see you again soon.